Hi guys, welcome back. And uh, today is week nine. Yeah, so we skip a few weeks because uh, recently I just changed to a new job, so didn't really have a lot of time to really visit every week now. But a lot of things has changed, so today will be a very exciting day. I'll bring you and take a look at my new HDB video, and you can see many many new updates. So let's get started. Okay, let's get into the apartment, right? Open the door. Let me close the gate first. Okay, we are going to change out the gates and we're going to wrap the doors with the architecture wrap. Right? So this one will not be permanent. So take a look. See, the cabinetry are in already. The service windows are up already. Let's look at the service yard first. Right, so you see here, cabinetry, cabinetry, and then you see the water heater from AOS bath is also installed already. Right, so we're going to put invisible grill over here. Right, this area, the tiles are all up ready. Right, pipes, four ceiling, all done already. Right, so I think the lights haven't been installed, but mostly all the so-called wet works are already done already. Okay. Here, everything. Okay, so this area is where the uh, stove will be, right? Where the hops will be. So we have a uh, gas cooker and then we have an induction cooker side by side. Okay, drawers here are already done. These are all the condiments drawer, right? The bloom systems. Okay, I got two condiment drawers though. It's all over here. Okay, so more drawers over here. Right, and back to the front door, right? So this area is where the dry kitchen will be. So here will be totally sealed up. Right? Here is the position of the fridge facing uh, that side, right? So this will be filled up to become the dry kitchen. The counter island, right? The island is already here already, right? Right hand side, right beside the door, DB box, right here, the shoe cabinets. Uh, up ready where you will see like you know the A tracks are already done so that you can shift the shelf wherever you want right and then here will be more storage uh, similarly will be shoe cabinet as well AA tracks everything so generally I think the, the quality is pretty much good right the inside are all PVC but the external will be the white laminate okay and then right beside it will be the bomb shelter door which will be sealed up by a force door right and more shoe cabinets over here so this is how it will look like so pretty much um the main structure has been done already okay let's take a look at the dry kitchen cabinets right so this area right will be all the so-called bloom uh, space tower right where you have all the space uh the bloom so-called boxes right like this one over here all these are the bloom boxes will be placed over here right below here will be my wells uh, water dispenser then the wells dispenser will be somewhere here right on the counter right here more uh, drawers this area is the oven and then you have casement storage above and below right up here also more storage over here Okay, island here, a lot of drawers, right? So there are two big drawers, three small drawers, and then we mirror our image on the other side as well, three and two big ones. So this is how everything looks like. So generally, it's still quite spacious. You can still move around. So pretty much quite done. The aircon has arrived. My Daikin uh, System 3 plus a System 1 is here as well. Right, so they're going to install that very soon. Okay. TV feature wall, right? So TV feature wall, they have drawn out the dimensions and we are getting the uh, the LG, I think it's G2 Evo series, which is a flash mount TV. We didn't choose the frame, right? Because of the uh, so-called lower specs. Lah. So I think living room will give a higher specs kind of stuff, right? All ready to go right here. Once we have the laminate backing, right? The laminate backing is important, right, this area, because this is where you're going to mount the brackets. Right, so if you're going to use, like, uh, marble or stone, right, uh, to mount, right, then uh, there will be slightly different and more expensive configuration to actually do the mounting. Right, so we 
uh, purposely make this one into a laminate backing so that we can actually mount the bracket properly. Okay, display cabinets are all here. Right, so this is where we're going to display all the stuff. Right, then we have the console, which is lower than expected, which is nice. And we're going to sit the soundbar right on top over here. Okay, curtains wise will be here. Right, we have a curtains over here and then we have a curtains over there. Right, how about the lightings? The lightings are up already as well. So you can see uh, the Soul Lumine uh, Isa Mini 3. Right, so three of them. The side there's one. Okay, and then you have two, you have three. Right, so pretty much very clean. I like the clean look of the ceiling. Right, and then you have four over here. Right, two, three. Yeah, so very, very clean uh, ceiling. Right, this is where we're going to mount a haiku fan as well. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, wet kitchen uh, entrance, right? So this is the place where we're going to have glass door over here, right? So that you can actually open and enter into the wet kitchen. Right, this space is much bigger than expected, which is nice uh, because people can be cooking here and then there's still walkway are the worst the wet kitchen. Right here already we have done up the laminate, right? So it will be a white laminate kind of thing, right? And then here will be where the fridge will be. Right. So we have gotten the bespoke Samsung fridge, right? The four-door one. So we're gonna place it over here. Okay, and then here will be like the sink and everything and the washing machine over here. The yeah, dishwasher will also be somewhere here. All right, let's take a look at the bedrooms. Okay, bedrooms, this is my parents' bedroom. Switches are up ready, so we choose the uh, Le Grand uh, Malia series, uh, which is come in the uh, brush metal, right? And then we have the cabinetry are up ready, the wardrobes, uh, the solar luminaire lights are up as well. Uh, here we're going to do a pull up mirror like right? this low bunk here. It used to be sealed up but we removed it to make it uh, uh, so-called uh, pull up mirror kind of stuff. Yeah, and my appliances are here. The smack uh, induction and the gas cooker. My smack oven. Uh, the Fisher & Packer uh, dish washer, right? which is the drawer, right? And then we have the Fisher & Packer integrated hood. Okay, I think this is the sink itself, right? They are all here as well. Okay, let's take a look at the other bedrooms. We'll go to the toilet next. But the other bedroom, this is my kids' bedroom. Generally, there's not much stuff over here. Right, but you can see the switches over here. This is a brush aluminium one. Right, I think the lighting's are up really. No, I think they switch off. Yeah, so you can see the texture, very, very nice. Huh? Okay. Uh, the cabinet trees. This one will be a uh, so-called sliding door, right? So you can see the tracks over here. The tracks on top. This area we're gonna have another so-called uh, cabinet where we're gonna put the uh, Samsung One Connect box, which is coming from the frame TV in my master bedroom. We we'll connect out over here, and we have the switch over here, right? So the other side will be very very clean. So that is the configuration for now. Okay, plugs are up as well. Okay, and then these holes are actually for the TV. La. So, but in the case room, we are not mounting a TV, so we'll probably cover this hole for now. Okay, how about toilet, right? So, let's take a look at the toilet. Look at the brush metal. It's very, very nice switch, right? It's called a Le Grand Malia Sensors. Okay, common toilet, right? The sink will be here, right? So the integrated sink will be will be somewhere here. And then we have the mirror, and then we have the accent lighting at the side, right? So this is the so-called uh, glass screen, right? And then this is the toilet itself, very, very cute looking uh, gibbery uh, water systems, okay? And then you can see the Hans Groher uh, Black brush chrome is also installed already, right? So you have here, and then the very gigantic shower right over here as well, 
right? So this is how it looks like. Very, very clean look in the toilet, right? And then for this one, we'll be uh, we'll have a so-called hand shower. Lah. So we get so we'll hand shower for you to do your showering as well. Okay. All pretty much done up already. Slight points, done up as well. Okay. Master bedroom. Okay, the L-shaped cabinets are up already. Right, so you can see here, right, based on the elevation drawing, right? So, so this is the tricky part, right? The L-shaped tricky part, where sometimes your door doesn't allow you to assess the corner. Right, so in this way, uh, what we're going to do, you're going to do the 180 door, so that they can actually open fully to assess the 90 degree corner over there. Okay. Okay, so here will be the TV, right? So we're gonna have the Samsung frame TV over here. And then we have the uh, connection, right? Which will lead to just now the other room, right? Where I show you uh, where you actually go to, right? So this is how it will be mounted. Okay. Here will be the so-called uh, bed head. And then we will have a bed, uh, two side, uh, bed side table, right? Right over here. Alright, lighting wise, done up ready. Right? Pretty much quite done up ready. Okay? Toilet wise, haha. <laughs> so this one is a swing out a swing out door, right? Swing out PD door in, because inside got no not a lot of space. So we decided to actually do a swing out. So you can see the toilet uh so called uh the, 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 the shower screen has been done, right? So Master toilet, we have the so-called French door to assess the showering area, right? On the right, this is where the mirror will be. Similar configuration as the uh, common toilet. Right below, integrated sink. Right hand side will be the same kind of like uh, in, uh, the, the wall mount kind of like toilet as well. Lighting points, done up. And then here is where you can assess the toilet store, right? So you can actually open up both ways, right? This way, and then you can go inside, and then you can see the Hans Groher shower as well. Right? This is where you shower, and then once you shower, you can actually close the door, things like that. So it's a cool feature, lah. I think I haven't seen any HDB has done that before. Okay, so this is how the toilet looks like. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? I think really that's about it though. So that's all we have. A lot of new updates, cabinetry all up, the floors are all grouted properly, all done up already, right? So I think the next step is to have uh, more uh, installation of the cabinetry, right? So this is where we're going to install the stuff. They're going to cut the holes for the cooker and the, and, and the hood, right? And then once this one is done, then the countertop will come and then we can do the remaining installation. Right, so far we'll be here. In the invisible the in invisible grill guys are coming soon to actually put out the invisible grill as well. Right, so this is where we have the dining pendant light. Here we have the island pendant light as well. Yeah, so this is how everything will be done. Okay, so I think that's all for today and stay tuned for more updates once uh, I come back to look at more of this progress to be done and then I can do another video on this one again, right? So it may be still weekly or maybe it'll be, you know, on alternate week. So depending on my schedule and my new job, which is quite busy, you know. So hope you guys like this video. Uh, make sure you click on the subscribe button to follow me on my BTO journey. And, you know, until next time, I will see you soon.